Today on The Grid, it's our blind photo critique day. This is where our viewers have sent in images to be critiqued, and I can tell you, it's not gonna go real well today. Uh -oh. This is a day where we'll have a lot of crying, a lot of tears, a lot of anger, people writing us emails after the show. It's not going to go well, but we're glad you're here. We have a very special guest today. Liesl Walsh is with us. She's a Kelby One instructor. She's very cool. And uh, also, the real man, the can of ham. He likes green eggs and ham. <laughs> It's the real rocket man, Eric Kunis here. We've got some giveaways. We have more giveaways than we should. We're going to give away more stuff than any show in the entire earth, and that's including The Price is Right. And when does this merriment and mirth all start? In 23.2 seconds. Let's go. Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. And hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, we're back right on time, clocking that thing right at 1 o'clock p.m. Oh, yeah. Eastern time. Welcome, everybody. We so glad to have you later. here. Eric and I are here, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we have a very special guest in the studio today. Liesl Walsh is Hello, here. Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good well, be a great day. Well, you might not be happy to be here once we <laughs> once start getting see, into these Oh, fatigues. it's not going to be a happy day. <laughs> But uh, Liesl is a, an, a, is a photographer, obviously, yeah. that can make sense. But um, Liesl is here doing a class for us at Kelby One. She's doing an online course. Uh, she has sold over 600 images on Fine yeah. Art America. Yeah. And she is an expert at how to sell that stuff. And she is going to share that with Kelby One members in a brand new course. So that's why she's here. Yeah. And if you come here to do a course, we make you go on the grid. We're saying, no, you're going on the grid. No, no, we, we invite you to be on the grid. and. <laughs> Normally they'll say no, but she was kind enough to say yes. yes. And you picked a great day because today is Blind Photo Critiques oh, okay. Day. Lots yeah. of people have sent us in photos. It's, it's a mixed it's bag. It's going to be right? a good day. It's a mixed bag. <laughs> we have some. We have some good photos. Oh, yes. I want. I do want to speak to this real quickly because people ask me a lot. Like, they'll say, yeah. "Why yeah. didn't my picture get chosen?" Right? We get hundreds of submissions, literally hundreds. It takes me forever to just get like 15 yeah, of them together. Random, random, yeah. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find ones that will will help our viewers. In other words, there's there's something wrong with it. There's something mm -hmm. we can fix. There's something fixable. Or here's a good example of somebody who's doing it right because there's no sense in just showing all bad photos, yes. right? Because like we even had somebody say, why don't you guys show good photos back in the early days? Why don't you ever show anybody who's got good photos? Well. We do now. So now we show some good photos. But if yours didn't get picked, yeah, it doesn't mean bag. doesn't mean you're not a good photographer. It doesn't mean we don't like you. It doesn't mean your images weren't great. It means that maybe you turned it in late and you were at the end of the line. <laughs> you, yeah. you just or, got yeah. into the deadline yeah. and I've yeah. already got fifteen images. You know, it's I think I think the other thing too is that's where usually Scott will say, like this week, I think it biased a little bit towards the ones that need a lot of help. Yeah, well, yeah, this is it yeah. was it was a you know every time it's different right and yeah. and now there's also some images that i look at them and and there's nothing to say they're so yeah they're so bad that i there's nothing constructive i could say i mean they look like snapshots yeah. like they look like oh there's my kids at the beach you know they're just nothing yeah. they're not really photography they're just photos and so yeah. for those i'm like eh, i don't really I don't because I, I don't want to just be mean for the sake of being mean. But what we do want to do, and I'm I'm saying this for Liesl's benefit, <laughs> is to be honest. We don't. That's why yeah. we don't tell anybody's oh, name. Yeah. That's why it's a blind critique, so we can go look. Yeah. You're not getting it done. And understand that. That's what it is. This is a fine, blind photo critique. If you ever want to, Scott did a great article on his blog years ago of like why to get your images critiqued, like what what it would out of it, but. That's really when you come down to it. I know we're going to get emails later, probably from some of this. And if you keep an open mind to it, I'm telling you, your photography will improve. But before we get to that, we've got a bunch of like home, uh, housekeeping. housekeeping stuff. Yes, yes, we do. Mr. K? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, what do we have? Um, giveaways? We got giveaways. So we've got giveaways right. today on the show. We've got a, the Platypod handle. So we're giving away the Platypod handle um, today on the show. Uh, great accessory for raising your... Um, camera up off of a platy pot. Uh, we're going to give away the how to do that in a Photoshop book. So we've got that as well. You can get that over on Amazon. 
Uh, and then we're going to give away a copy of Scott's Photoshop for Digital Photographers book as well. And that's also available on Amazon via Prime right there. You can get it fast delivery right to you. I love fast delivery. And then uh, we're mm -hmm. going to give away a copy of On One No Noise 2023, a great... Uh, plug-in for removing noise out of your image and adding sharpening. And there's a shot of uh, uh, cactus that Jason, That's right. Jason is very well familiar with. That is Mr. Like Kuna's photo right and there. Then, yes, uh, it is. Uh, nice? V-flat from yeah. V-flat World. We're going to give away a co uh, one of those. That's going to now. This is for U.S. shipping only, so you have to be a U.S. shipping address to get this one. But everybody can get a discount. It's Kelby10 at checkout to get a discount, 10% off uh, to do that. And then Retouch for Me is giving away their Skin Tone app. Uh, this is a great uh, AI plugin for Photoshop. If you're into retouching your images, uh, portraits, it really is. It's amazing. Go back a couple months there on the show. Absolutely amazing plugin for doing yeah, their that. Yeah, stuff specific. is next level. It's, now this is, let me just say something about their apps. You can use them as an amateur, but, and because it does all the work for you. <laughs> I mean, it's yes. AI based. Be, but when you see them, they, they are priced at, prices for professionals because they know that pros are going to be using this. However, we can get you 20% off. All right. Yes, we can get you 20% off because you use the code Kelby120, that's K-E-L-B-Y-O-N-E-2-0 at promo.retouch4.me and you can get 20% off their plugins. But yeah, but you're going to have professional retouchers using yes. these plugins. So you're paying for professional it, it is, tools, but you're not is, paying uh, as much. It is a little high end, though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it, high end. But it's it's it's, it's the best. amazing. It's really what good. It, it's crazy what it does. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, what else are we at? We got uh, next up. I am speaking at the. Uh, what am I speaking Photo at? Photoclave. The Photoclave. All right, out nice. in California on February 17th through 19th. Look very close here. I'm going to be in the San yeah. Ramon. I'm very excited about. I've never been to San Ramon, but I hear it's lovely, and I'm flying into Oakland. So, there you uh, go. so there we go. I'm going to be there. I'm doing a uh, like a keynote, and I'm doing another uh, class as well. Both of them on travel photography, which I dearly love. So, I hope that you will come and uh, and check those out if you can. It's supposed to be a fantastic. My and first then, time speaking there. And then a couple of weeks later, uh, we have the iPhone conference coming. Then we've got the so, iPhone conference, and hundreds of, of people of all over the world have yes. already signed up. So, come and join us. It's the iPhone Photography Conference. It's coming up February 27th and 8th. It's a two day conference with a pre conference the day before. And if you you uh, sign up for it, you get to stream, restream those classes on demand anytime for a full year. So that's coming up. We got some great instructors. Kelby1Live.com. <clears throat> yep, all the photos you're looking at, we're all taken on an iPhone as well, including that one I took right there. Woo, yeah, I was standing right next to you, like, <clears throat> scroll down a little bit. Yeah, scroll down a little. Eric yeah, right was right there. next to me. Er that. Eric was saying stuff like, hey, take hey, that take shot, that pull shot. out your phone. What are you, <laughs> yeah. an idiot? He was saying take all kinds shot. of mean stuff. Anyway. Yeah, I need that shot. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> right after that, I'm going to be in the UK in Birmingham. Uh, which is, uh, you know, a, kind of an hour or so from London by train, mm -hmm. maybe a little more. Oh, but uh, nice. it, is, it is just uh, an awesome show. It's called The Photography Show. They say it's the photography and video show. And they do video, too. But, you know, come it's on. It's the photography it's show. It's the photography show. And it's called, their, their website is photographyshow.com, if that gives you yeah. any idea. But it is a fantastic show. I was able to do mm -hmm. it a few years ago. I'm excited to be back. It's awesome. Uh, I've got a discount code for you for them, too. The discount code is, you can see my screen, that's it right there, SPK. Scott Pro Kelby, we decided that was. Can okay, you, that's what we decided it was. It's a pretty confusing code. It is. Scott but Pro Kelby, TPS, I know. the Photography Show 24. <laughs> that's it. That's the code. They'll get you 20% off. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you're a working pro, you can go and apply for a free ticket. You just have to fill out a form, and, you know, if you meet the criteria, yeah. they give you a free ticket. And if, yeah. they, if you don't meet the criteria, they, they, they scorch you. No, they go on Twitter and they yell at you. No, but anyway, it's worth, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but it's worth trying. It's a wonderful show, and I'm very excited about going. So, so there it is. The pro trade is the one that you want. All right. Hey, so I, I have something. All right. Look he's it. got something. Um, oh, okay. Lenworth, he's, he's Lenworth got something. Uh, who was on the show a couple of weeks ago, uh, sent me his MyOps because he oh. doesn't use it anymore. And I told him I would surely destroy this MyOps as well. So <laughs> I will try to destroy that MyOps on the next rocket launch. <clears throat> All right. One, then, more, you know, one more thing. I, I got, I got, well, you go ahead. I got one more thing too. If I, I have to warn everybody, I might be a little snippy today. You might be a little snippy oh, today. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, well, I, you know, let let you go. I'm interested to hear well, why are you snippy so today? I, I'm a little snippy today because um, oh, I know Samsung. what this is. Yes, Samsung has done me wrong, right? I mean, they they basically they went to the nth degree to basically just have the worst customer support I've ever experienced in my life. Oh my so, gosh, and, and it's know. really hard. I mean, you know, the the thing is, this is what kind of frustrating. Like, you know me. Like I'm a pretty technical person. And if I have to call, it's usually because there's a serious, like there's a problem, right? And uh, I'll just say a few weeks ago, I had a problem with that daughter's phone. I had to call Apple. It was joyful. It was perfect. It was how it should be. I called Samsung. It, so what happened was my new S24 Ultra, which the cameras are really good on it. Yep. But so is the cameras on an iPhone. I have both, which I'm fortunate to have both. So I understand that this is a little bit of that uh, first world problems. Like, <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I call them up because my phone is just glitching. It is dropping calls. It is dropping data. Nothing's working. So, uh, and I gave this, this is over a week period called and they're trying to blame it on Verizon. It's all Verizon's fault. It's Verizon's fault, Verizon's fault. And I'm telling them like, look it. I had no problem. So I went through Verizon. We did all the troubleshooting. Verizon's like, I'm telling you, it's not us. I've even switched to another, the other phone that I had. Huh? It worked fine. It's just this, the Samsung's not working. So I, I called them yeah. back and let them know that. Mind you, the whole time I've been disconnected twice uh, after being on hold. I get to people that I, I can't, uh, we, we're, they're basically reading robotic scripts to you. Oh, and I that's the that. worst when you're talking about customer service. When they cannot deviate mm. from a script, like I'm literally telling them, like, I've already had this problem and they're having to walk me through every step and they will not break. It's like, they're, they're worse than AI robots. They were, they were literally, I mean, if you're buying a Samsung, you got to realize you're going to deal on the customer service side with worse than AI robots. Worse than and you'll be AI begging robot, for an AI be robot. I was actually begging, like, can I get an automated system? It would be better than the human beings that I am talking to. Wow, he's wow. cranky. And that's why I'm a little cranky because little cranky. I really love it, but I'm at the point where I send it back. I send it back, and I'm switching back to my iPhone. And now that's going to be my primary phone. I mean, it just it's sad, but because it really is. But I'm a little cranky. Hey, can I say something though? Have you ever called our member services? Yeah. Our member services are the best. I'm, I kid you not. Well, you that, maybe that's us, why I'm kind of like, Ugh. yes, because we've yeah. got amazing. Yeah. We get letters and, and like I'll go out and do my seminars and stuff. You were at one of my seminars, right? Yeah. Couple. And, and, and I'll be at my seminars and people will wait in a long line and they get up to me and they don't have a question. They just going to say, hey, you know what? I called up and I had to talk to your customer service people and they were the most amazing and most helpful. I mean, I hear it all the time. We get letters, we get emails and personal uh, unsolicited testimonies at my seminars of people that wait in line just to tell me how great our customer service is. Now, let me, let me just icing on the cake. You know, I had to, re you know, I had to return it because yeah. they won't replace your phone. If you have a problem, they won't replace it. They'll return it and you can order a new one. Mind you, at a higher price because I got a deal. So they want me to order it at a higher price. Oh. They want me to order it at a higher price. And then it was going to take a month to get my new phone. So if I didn't have a second phone, think about this from a customer service perspective. I didn't, I am fortunate. I understand that I have a second phone because I use both pl platforms that I can switch back to. But if I That's didn't, yeah. they'd have a month until they could get me and they wouldn't Ooh. actually replace it. They have to have you send it back and then you have to process a new order to buy a new phone. That ain't what, right. what, what company? Yeah. What, what company? company? No one. Hey, so that's where I mean Samsung. You get better I get it. You, you got you got a <laughs> you got a pretty decent uh, camera on your phone, but your support and the the glitchiness, forget it, forget it. All right, I, I think we better take a break and yeah. let Eric. I got to cool down. He needs to cool down. When we cool come down. back, we'll start looking at images. So stick around. Yay, we'll images. be right. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Let's go. <laughs>
Hello, I'm Kelly Jones for Kelly One. I'm a certified underwater photography instructor. We're here on location in San Pedro, Belize. We're at Chuck and Robbie's Dive Shop. Yesterday, they took us to Mermaid's Lair, a beautiful dive site. We got some great photographs, we got some great sharks as soon as we got in the water. We got some horse-side jacks that I love. All kinds of different animals to see. Have you ever wanted to be an underwater photographer? Have you ever wanted to get in the water and capture all that beautiful marine life that lives under the sea that most people never see? Here's your chance to learn how to do it. So we're gonna get you in the water. We're gonna show you some compositional techniques. We're gonna show you lights, when to use lights, when not to use lights. We're gonna teach you what cameras to use, some underwater photography rules to break. We're gonna have a great time. You will be an underwater photographer when you finish this class. And what's the whole objective of being an underwater photographer? To impress your friends, of course. I worked hard putting this class together for you. Let's go do it. So come join me for my latest class on KillMeOne.com. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. All right, we're back. Welcome back, Hello. everybody. I calm down. <laughs> yeah, he's much better now because we changed the subject. I went, on my, I went on my iPhone. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, you ready to look at some all images? Right, we're on a good mood now. All right, here, here we go. Here's our first image. Let's go. All right, wedding photographer. All right, let's take a look at this one. And uh, there's off one. into a field. And big line. And this Where are they one. going. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me say this. These aren't bad. They're okay. But there's 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 certainly some issues. My first issue here has nothing to do with what I'm gonna really fix, but is you, you don't look like the wedding photographer here. You look like you somebody else is shooting the wedding. They're looking at the yeah. wedding photographer, and you got up and took a picture of them looking at the actual yeah, wedding photographer. Yeah, it's almost like the photographer is over to the right here. Yeah, they're not looking Because they're looking, looking the so far away that like they're just like peering off into right. something. <clears throat> but there's a bigger issue. Yeah. Why is her wedding dress blue? Do you oh, think that? Do you think she awesome. bought? <laughs> do you think she bought a blue dress? I bought a dress with a blue tent. No. Your white out. People, fix your flipping. You're a wedding photographer. Their oh, yeah. dress is but it's the easiest thing in the world. So look, let's jump over here. Oh boy, it's starting All right. early. Now I'm opening, <laughs> I'm opening camera raw. Now, it's the same sliders in the same order as, as Lightroom, so don't let it throw you if you don't have, you know, if you're using Lightroom and that's what I normally use. Right. Go to color, color and just go here. Now you can either you take can this eyedropper, take the dropper and click. Dropper. Click on there. Her dress is supposed to be white. There's close. It's a little too yellow, I think. Yeah, that went yeah. a little far. All right, but now her what? Now her dress is white. I'm mm, going to show you a side by side of what. Look at that. Look how blue oh, yeah. the image on the left is versus the one that is on the right. Well, and also look. Skin looks better. And also look when you, when you. Yeah, exactly. When you nail the white balance. Everything looks better. The skin looks better. There's yeah. more detail the wheat in the field dress. that they're in. Yeah, like, of the course, that yeah. doesn't look sickly. The wheat field. All right, the wheat let's just go. It looks a little green on the left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. It yeah, it the was, wheat looks actually, green. Her dress green looks blue. Than I did blue. Yeah. Actually, yeah. If you look at the tint. No, but I'm looking. That. I'm looking at her dress. Yeah. Wheat field looks green. Yeah. yeah. Dress looks blue. But I'm saying overall image. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Overall image is is bad. Also, they're backlit. Look at her hair. Look at his hair. I did that backwards. Look at her hair. Look at his <laughs> hair. So I would go to the masking tool, say select subject. It's probably going to see both of them. Oh, good. You got them both. And just either open up the shadows a bit or open up the exposure or maybe both to just bring them up a little bit more. Because if you look back at the other image, 
they were underexposed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. They're in the shade. Yeah, they're in the shade. And then, by the way, that's, that's why your white lights. balance is yeah. off. You had your white balance set to auto white balance. But guys, come on. It's the wedding dress. No bride wants to see a blue tint in their and i think if right. we're translating here the reason he's saying come on is this is a common thing that common. we see come on fix your it's color it's like the horizon line thing all right yeah. this one is i see a post-processing problem liesel what's your take on this well the, the first thing i see is that orange vertical line on the right it's yes. my eye goes to that first because it's the place of the highest contrast in the image i mean that's where your eye goes to where the brightest and the darkest thing meet together. I would like remove that orange vertical line or at least brighten it so it's not so dark. Yeah. But it just, I, it takes away, it takes your eye yeah. away. Absolutely, from the totally 100,000% degree. Let's just select that. Now let's try first content aware because it's quicker. Okay, yes. that doesn't work. Let's try generative <laughs> fill. And just hit generate. You don't type in. If you want to remove something, you don't type anything in the box. You just leave it blank. And honestly, this is how I use generative film more than anything. It's just yeah, this is my blank. number one use. So I don't add stuff generally with with, with uh, generative fill. I just want to get rid of stuff. That's a bad get rid of. How about the third uh, it one? It actually improved it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, none of these are good. Well, none of those are good. All right, all right. At least it let's, I'm going to undo all the way to here. Here, let's do this. I'm going to get rid of most of it. I'm just going to reselect it just a little tighter. And just since, since content, I mean, there's a million ways to get rid of this, but let's just yeah. try the, the using the patch tool over here. This tool over here where you draw a lasso around it and then you move to another area and, and hopefully it, it patch. All right, it needs some cleanup. We can do that. It needs a little cleanup. I mean, already and your eye is going to the groom much easier yeah. now. Oh yeah. Okay, that's that's a really crappy fix, but you know we can but be fixed. That's the point. You can still All right, clean there's it up. another issue. You used way too much clarity. clarity. It, yeah. he, it almost <laughs> looks HDR. Mm -hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking, his tux would look really good. If that's the case, if, if that's what you feel like his tux would look good with more with more texture and more detail. It looks like you added too much clarity. All so, around. That's but, why also yeah. the bokeh in the right, background. Right. The bokeh looks weird, weird in the background too. And you got a little like a little glow around his head. But do this instead. Go to the masking tool, give it a second for it to find him, click on him, and then go choose just close. So you're oh, just that. masking the clothes yeah, and yeah. you're not messing with his face. Then you can go in here and go and add texture and or clarity to get the shine and that stuff up without messing. His face is, it's overdone. But that's yeah. that's another one that's kind of uh, messed up. Let's look at the third one. I'm hoping for better. I'm up there one. Oh, unfortunately. All right. It's just kind of a meh photo. Uh, it's luckily you got a little bit of him looking at her. But yeah. uh, it, this photo, is it about the forest? Because it's 90% forest and a tiny bit them. I would. Yeah, and the forest just is out of compositional yeah. element in it. Yeah, and it's yeah. Not, a, not a great looking forest here. I would kind of maybe pull them into, if you want to keep those shadows, Shadow, I guess you could maybe. pull it to there. Yeah. yeah. But at least, and then I what mean, color is her that's, dress? That's stronger. Let's get some, let's that's get their dress to white. And then take out some of that green. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty far. Just those Look couple at the, things that mean such a, just a few things and it makes it so much better. Yeah. I mean, but this is, this is basic stuff. You're a wedding photographer. You're shooting weddings and your wedding dresses are blue. I mean, this is just basic stuff. You got to get that right. So. All right. So. That's heated. My, I'm just, right. I'm disappointed is what I am. I'm like, come I on, you're you. charging people money for we're this. Just, we're just trying and, to And maybe you. you'll get yeah. in the comments and go, I didn't charge. It was my cousin's wedding and I did it for free. And in which case I'd go, okay, you did it for free. So they don't deserve to have a white wedding dress. <laughs> Look, if you did the gig, do it right. Come on. That's, I mean, skin tone and the color, yeah. it's skin tone. You mentioned it. You even yes, said, I, oh, look how much better their yeah, skin yeah, tone the skin. looks. If their skin's blue, they look dead. If the wedding dress is blue, it's not if right. Blue and green are really bad. <laughs> like, yeah. Blue and green, it's the sickly colors Come on, we come it's, on. Like, that's why right. stuff's the sickly. Let's hope this is All better. Right, let's take a look here. Here we go. Well, one out of three isn't bad. Yeah. The, this shot yeah. here 
is, is not bad except for your subject is in the shadows. But here's what I like about it. This one looks completely different than the other ones. You're down at a very low perspective. Mm -hmm. You've got nice uh, contrast and separation. You got some sky in there. Your post processing is pretty good in this one. This one is really good, but I just think she needs, to, she's just kind of dark. She is what this shot is about. It's and, not giving this you anything. This tells the story yeah, better. Nothing yeah. Given. This has a strong story. Well, it'll be, I think you'll, you'll like it better, Eric, if popped it we can pop, pop it a it bit up. and then then it pop becomes it more obvious it's about yeah. her i still think you're gonna lack some of it it's just not a good yeah, gesture it's no, I, I, I don't have i don't really have a problem with with all that, that that's I mean, a little good. better i mean again it's the yeah best it's one. the best by far of the it three tells the story better than the other two. Oh yeah so let's go back to this one so first off you cut off the first guy's feet and you cut off the second guy's feet yeah. I don't have a problem with the sky being blown out like that, but if you're going to let the sky go completely white, and it may have been just a really gray day or whatever, this is a candidate for black and white. When your color's bad, <laughs> go for black yeah. and white. Let's click on the uh, yeah. thing here. Poles out, yeah. Oh, the poll's got to go. Gotta yeah. Go. All right. Let's, let's yeah. go. Let's find one of these. I'm just going to pick a random one because we don't want to spend the whole day on Could this. Could you crop in a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I'm going to. That's what I was thinking because the sky next. is so white and there's no, there's yeah. no detail on the sky, so yeah, get rid of some of that. Some, yeah. And then, like Eric said, uh, we got better. the light pole here. Yeah, Why yeah, is there a light? Light pole is not bringing any uh, interest to this photo. It is not helping at all. That might be a little large. Let's get rid of this light pole. Click once, hold the shift key, and click to draw a straight mm -hmm. line, and gone. And boom. This one a lot uh, better than better. the other one. The rest are all okay. I, I'm not happy with where the crop is here. I'd almost see, but if, if I That's crop what, the, here. The amputation is the hardest yeah, thing. Yeah, because really, okay, <laughs> yeah. where should this be cropped? Here. Well, we might be able to get rid, yeah, get away with this. Yeah, you might be able to get away with that. Uh, I like the odd number. This Ooh. is just it, you're gonna crop off the camera. Yeah, too. no, it's all bad. Okay, yeah, we're, you're, this is as good as it's probably gonna get. Is somewhere this is in why here. It's so good, even if you zoom out a little bit when you take the photo, you have room to to do a good crop. You don't miss anything. Yeah. Right? Yes, I agree. That's when words of wisdom the, right you there. You don't zoom in too far, unless you really want to get zoomed in yeah. you know always give yourself a little cut. yeah give yeah. yourself a little wiggle room there and you could have fixed that shot yeah uh so that's what's wrong with that one this one again it looks like he's posing for somebody else he's looking at somebody else yeah, i, I like, like your lower like angle you know out of a wall and, and this thing is that yeah you're thing growing up high is just so distracting yeah and yeah. down low like the foreground is doesn't help like i would just totally zoom in at crop the whole bottom off, crop the top off, and just zoom into the, his face. And is that a camel? That is a camel. <laughs> Here's what I would do. But Wait, there's another bit. thing you yeah. can do that yeah. I think would, would actually help a lot more. On the back of your camera, there's a button called delete. <laughs> Hit that one. This shot ain't making it. That is, so, yeah, that if is he was the, looking that is at the, the camel, that the would be better. better. That's the weakest. This that's one's not bad. I think the... Eric's not crazy about it, but I, I, mean, it's, I, it's I like good. it. I mean, it's good. It's just, I think that there's... It's head and shoulders above the other yeah, two. It's good. That one has the best story out of yeah. the three. Because... Absolutely. I'm, saying, yeah. I'm just saying that I think it could... Oomph. All right. Let's look at some oh, of these. Better. All right. That's we're nice. getting... Oh. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here well, we go. All right. So I, my favorite is this one. I, I like the reflection yeah. and I like the mm -hmm. water. The, the bird is nice and crisp. It's sharp. And you've got really nice contrast and separation from the background. Any thoughts? Yeah. Well, I, I was thinking I, I would do a little more dodging and burning to add a little more drama. You know what? How about this? What if we... Like, the contrast is good, but I'd, I would do a little more background. drama. This is something I do a lot of. I mm -hmm. have done a lot of flamingo images where I do a lot of dodging right and burning. That Create a lot more emotion in the image. Yeah, see, now we darken the background. Yeah, the bird the background stands helps. out more. It pops. And that, that's just a simple thing. When you're talking about dodging and burning, I think you're talking about darkening these areas. Yeah, getting a brush. Like getting, yeah. going here and saying, create new mask, get a brush. Yeah. And let's actually make the darker areas darker. So you would go in kind of here exactly. and in there. And it just, it, it does. It creates more drama yeah, and more emotion dimension. in the image. And it actually makes it pop more. Yep. So look at those, those two changes there. So. Oh, it, it's much better. 
Yeah, and, and that's that I did. I'm hacking yes. it real quickly. The dodging yeah. and burning is a uh, yeah. A that is the thing I love to do. This one's nice. The birds is in an interesting pose. Wings uh, up. I like the low angle here. Is pretty good. Wings up yeah. and. Uh, mm -hmm. And a decent reflection. This is this is pretty good. This is my least favorite. This one. It's well, what are your thoughts here? He looks like he's scared. Like someone's coming to get him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like ah! run, run. Ah! It's also it's even also, though he's yelling or he's yelling. He's cranky. It's also <laughs> a little dirty, like where his feet are and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. they could have cleaned that snow, up. Yeah, right? yeah, it it's like dirty. Snow. Snow. But the bird is white. Yeah, the bird is I mean, white. Bird at least it's not blue. <laughs> hey, if that wedding photographer were doing this this shot, it would be but like. But you are right. If would, I think if you cleaned yeah. up some of that darkness around uh, the or the dirtiness around the feet, it would be a little. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it would be better. You know what it is? It's There's still the weakest. But you thing. know, what, yeah. I don't think it's a very flattering pose. I don't know. That's just, just my no, opinion. No, I'm with you. I you have to think now. It is a nice close up of the bird, but you have to think of the message of the image what is what are you trying to portray now maybe this is something this type of bird likes to do you know i liked more peaceful quiet type of scenes and that's kind of the mood i go for so the pose is a big deal i think i i agree you yeah. have to choose yeah. i have another but another thing to add to that <laughs> you can see the face really well you know yeah technically like, it's it's and it good. looks sharp um, the yeah. wings are nice. I mean, there's a lot of nice things about this. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Let's just say this. This and is the, obviously. The background a, is clean. It's there's nothing yep. distracting. Very the bird talented stands out photographer. Really nice. I would clean up the, the around the feet. It, it, no, I got a different. Yeah. I got yeah. a different take. This is a very. This is obviously a talented photographer. They know what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. They know yeah. about. They understand about light. They understand about gesture. I've got to imagine you've got a way better picture of a more interesting looking bird. <laughs> that picture, yeah. it's just not happening. The other two yeah. are super happening. I'll yeah. guarantee you, you've got another picture. And now, you may be looking at that picture and go, oh my gosh, you don't know what I went through to get that shot. You never see that bird. Never. There yeah. may be a we whole other story we don't know. I'm just looking at the photo. Is this a good bird shot? Would I hang this in my house? No. The other it's two? The message of the photo. Yes. But, but too. never, yes. never yeah. hang your photography on the backstory that nobody knows. Right. Right. And I right. think a lot of people do that. Exactly. And that's where we, we just don't want to do that. All right. Let's take a look at another one here. Um, got the Thunderbirds in the background. Ooh. All right. I think oh, we have. I think we have one and a half shots here. Yeah. yeah. I like this one a lot. I think this is a clever concept. Uh, you know, he's yeah. uh, obviously, in, I guess, in aircraft maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we keep him flying. I like the shirt, and I love the pose, and that's a clever use. Yeah. Of I this. like how uh, his hands, his arms stand out really well against the dark area of the plane, mm -hmm. and that the circle shape kind of keeps your eye on, on his arms and his hands. Like, I think it's really cool. This is this is a I winner. Like it. I like it. This I is like a winner. it. I love the, the shirt, favorite. the message. It's Absolutely. really cool. This one. Uh, okay, I have to say something though. Say it. The background. I like the simplicity of the background. Mm -hmm. Now, the 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 two leading lines bring your eye to the gentleman, but mm -hmm. that white area takes my eye away from him. My eye, my eye keeps going to the bottom of yep. the photo. It's too yep. bright. But the leading lines is a good idea, but I think if you just darken the bottom and, and do something so he pops even just a little more, I think he's getting lost a little bit, even though it's a simple background. I think another thing that's making it look lost is his, he's taking a step, but it's such a small step that it looks like he's just standing there. Like, oh, he just yeah. looks like a guy standing there with his arms at his side, and he's got a grumpy look on his face. Like, there's, there's nothing really good happening here. Grumpy's the mood All today. of the things that Liesl just said technically are right and and there's a lot of yeah. good things happening yeah. if you got something better from him it goes from a meh shot to a hey shot because the other things can yeah. be fixed like the things she's talking about are are those yeah, are post-production post things, things and, and then think of his just his head against the white background you would think he would stand out right he's not but he's not so you need to have more contrast up there like darken the hair so it pops more against the sky what do you think? Oh, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. but, the, I, but I think the, the problem with this photo isn't all the other stuff. I think you're right. Pro, it's yeah. him. 
It's yeah. the pose and, and the, the expression and all that. He doesn't look like he looks strong and, and really the other form was great. And now he just looks like, like he looks like this is the shot before you said, okay, are you ready? <laughs> right? This looks like the one you take right before. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the, yeah, that one's the cool. killer shot. This one's that. don't even show anybody this one. This one is throwing me off for two reasons. It's very busy. The background that, that, is, I mean, it's cool. It like, doesn't bother me because I think okay. they want you to see. I saw the same I mean, it thing, tells though. Part it of the story. very busy. Right. They Especially where his head intersects. It's very busy. Yeah. I got if something his head, oh, bigger than this. If he moved, if you posed him better or stood in a way where his head was more in the sky, then his head wasn't, wouldn't compete with the yeah. plane so much. But it's just, I don't know. Here's what the problem is. Why is he wearing a football jacket? That's what I was wondering. Why is it's he like wearing a football jacket? This, this is completely two completely different meshes. Yeah. If he was wearing a bomber jacket, that's different. But yeah. wearing a high school jacket, this looks like, I'm just going to do it. Watch. Is it a senior portrait? Now, it might be a senior portrait. It that might he be. loves planes, then. then it might be, like, but that's not the right the person, thing. It, still, it doesn't. It's yeah. still not telling the story. I Here, what about all right, that here's yellow what, line in the bottom right corner? Is that distracting? Yes, this is distracting. Yeah. So is the. the, the uh, the, uh, nobody mentioned the ladder that's in oh, here. Yeah. That's not, I would get rid of that, but the, I, I got a bigger you, issue. Um, how would this look in black and white? Uh, I think that you would lose the fact that that's the Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds if it's in yeah. black and oh, white. Okay. So you that's just not, a, but... I'm going to go select subject. Ooh, what if he did all black and white and let I'm the gonna... red show? Oh, I can't oh, do that. We can't do that. <laughs> that's do instant that. death. All right. Selective yeah. colors. Yeah. Bad, Here's what we're going right? to do. Generative <laughs> fill. Can't do it. High school. <laughs> football stadium oh. and hit generate. Let's see what we get. And then all of a sudden the photo is going to look right. Well, I don't know what the generative fill is going to yeah. do. Who <laughs> knows what it's going to come. You're making a lot on generative fill right now. I know. Right I know. Now. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you this, what. this could be really a I, mess. Uh, it's hit and miss for me whenever I type in something. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that's pretty good. There's, that's there's, pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. That oh, looks right. Yeah. Oh yeah, come on. That is. You know, come on. The message fits better. Yes, yep. that looks Something, right. Yeah. Okay, right, wrong, right, wrong, <laughs> Well, that's because the costume right. and the, 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 the dress and the clothing, that's so important to the story, right? And what yeah. it is is, yeah, you have a, a varsity jacket with the Thunderbirds. It, it just does not do it. I'm yeah. sorry, Austin. Is, is, now, his name it is might Austin. be that they wanted that, but that's where you get down to it is like that's not your best images then that's not an image to right. submit no, no because it now, doesn't tell that i like his look tremendously better here oh yeah Does take that, that look and that pose and everything and put it on that runway that you had earlier or the taxiway wherever oh, it was oh yeah. yeah and you got a, then you got a winner but yeah you got one really great image half a good image because the pose is good and the, the background's wrong and then the other one don't show it to anybody that one. Okay. Hey, we got to take a break. We're going to take a break. We have a okay. special guest. I'm not going to say that who it is. Fast. Got a special guest coming up after the grid. We have a guest critiquer coming up to help us critique the next set of images. Don't go All away. Right. We'll be right back with Liesl and Eric here on the grid. Hello, my name is Dave DeBearmaker and I'm a toy photographer from North Carolina and I'm excited to share with you my new class on exercise and creativity. Creativity is a flow that leads us from the initial idea all the way to the final image. So we're going to cover exercises on how to be more proficient at how to use your camera and how to get those ideas anyways, as well as narrowing those ideas down and focusing them to get the best shots that you possibly can. When you finish this course, you'll be armed with techniques to flex your own creativity and make the most out of your own creative efforts. So please check out my class only here on Kelby One.
Imagine what your life would be like if everything in your Lightroom world was organized. Like you knew where your photos were, all your photos were together, everything is right where you want it, and it's easy to find everything, and Lightroom's running really fast, and everything is just awesome. Imagine what that would be like. There are people every day, just like you, who are living that life because they've implemented the Slim system. The Slim system is something I invented a number of years ago. It's used by photographers all over the world. And what it is, is my simplified Lightroom image management system, Slim. And let me tell you, it can change everything for you. Using Lightroom can be a joy, right? And it, the more messed up your Lightroom life is, the better this system will make your life. And it's easy, it's really easy. I lay it all out for you in this brand new course and it takes you from the very beginning. We're gonna talk about, you're gonna be fully backed up. All your photos are gonna be in one place, maybe for the first time in your life. And you're gonna be able to find your images, get to them quickly. It's everything that you ever dreamed that Lightroom was gonna to bring to you. And I'm gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to do it all. You're gonna love it, it's gonna change everything for you. So come and check out my new course. It's the Slim System, and it's only found here exclusively at Kelby One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Hey, we're back, Scott and Eric and Liesl, and uh, we got some quick yeah, shout outs. We got shout outs coming around. Uh, so we've got hi. Larry saying hi from Dallas, uh, and then Andrew saying hi, Scott and Eric from, a U from the UK, Woo. and then uh, DM Heifer saying hi from the Sunset Coast of Michigan. Tom saying hi from Northridge, California. Hey, Tom. Barb, hey, Barb Tom. saying hi from hi, South Barb. Dakota. Yeah, saying uh, excited to see Liesl. Hey, Barb. Uh, and Barb's actually signed up. I would say it's Barb signed up for my workshop as well. So uh, we're very excited for that. Um, and then John saying hi from the UK. Cheryl saying hi from South Padre. Know where that is. That's a good one. And then. Uh, Kevin is saying hi. Uh, good morning from a drying out Southern California. 48 hours of steady oh, rain. Man. Yeah, they oh, got wow. a, the Pineapple Express. Uh, then uh, Patricia Mann saying hi from North Florida. And then Paul saying hi all the way from Australia. All right. Wow. Glad to have you guys here. All Everybody. right. Everybody. So uh, we're going to look at some more images, but we have a very special guest critiquer coming in. When I saw these images this morning, when I was pulling all the images down, uh, I saw that there was some really uh, interesting toy photography. Now, you guys know when we're on the grid, if an image comes up and it has a Milky Way in it, I go, Eric, <laughs> take it. And if a sports image comes up, he'll go, Scott, take it. Yeah. So I thought, who would be better than the guy who's course trader that you just saw, Dave the Bear Maker, to come and actually be our guest? So Dave is joining us. There he is hey, right Dave. there, the man, the hey, legend. Everybody. All right, how you doing, Dave? I'm doing fantastic about yourself. All right, great. Thank you for taking some time out to do this. And we've got three images here, and I want to give you a shot to, uh, to, uh, to take a look at them. And we're going to reserve our judgment because we're not qualified. But <laughs> and I, I will say something after you're done, but uh, here we go. So this is the first one. Now, I'm already biased because it's a guitar. Yes. And, I, and a broken guitar. Uh, I know, right? They smashed it. You know, yeah, that's how you end the gig. I'd be biased to that. It's like my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Zelda. Good and old then Link. Zelda, yep. Mr. Kong. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Kong. There's the three yeah. images. Of course, we never saw Zelda. All right, Zelda so we'll, like we'll start you with, with this one here, Dave. Well, first of all, let me say that this is really nice. Yay! Uh, like it's the lighting is fantastic. Um, I really like the uh, purple hues. It looks like she's on stage. I'm not sure what character that is. Um, she's clearly annoyed, um, but she's uh, <laughs> she looks really good. Um, 
The only thing I can see off the top of my head, and these are the first time I've seen these, so I haven't had a chance to look at them in detail, are little things like just below her ear, um, on her front ear, there's a little dot right where the kind of her ear hit, hits her hair. It looks like just like a, uh, a dust spot or something like that. Now, right along the edge of her hair with her eyes, um, spending some time with their spot healing brush in toy photography is super important because those small little details magnify greatly. Um, so spending a little bit of time with the spot healing brush and just cleaning those up would, uh, would do a little, um, wonders for this photo. But as it stands, it's pretty freaking fantastic. Yeah, good. Okay, I'm, I'm glad because I liked them, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I like them like, I hey, like that's lighting. cool. And of course, really you know, cool. it's a guitar. The, the, she's got the attitude. and all. Is, that a, is that an LPS? No, that's not an L. Is it an L? I don't know what that is. Okay, let's move on. All right, here we go. There's Link. Uh, Link, yeah. There's Link, yes. I'm usually used to seeing this in like 8-bit. So, yeah. um, so I, um, I really uh, like this one as well. The, the light's fairly good. Um, there is a few things. One, Link is a bit dark, and the background's a little bit light. Um, I would see if I could throw a little bit of light onto Link just to kind of give him some more definition. Um, even just pointing a little, uh, like a loom cube or something at him and just giving a little bit more definition, kind of have him pop out from the background. Let me see. Can I open? Let me see if I can just put a mask on him, Dave, and here I'll try. subject. And then you'll tell me how far to go, but I can put... Uh, uh, even too far. That made it a little bit too much. It's, oh, just, oh. it's just a kiss. Yeah, um, okay. That's uh, like right in there. Somewhere in there? Yeah. Somewhere in there. Um, one thing I would do, um, it's harder to do uh, post, but in the actual take in the shot, if you could just have another light off screen shining in one direction, probably from uh, uh, the direction where his sword is pointing, mm -hmm. um, that would add some light to his, the, his front and leave his back darker because there's a lot of light motivating from the top right. That's kind of where the light source oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so letting that come in and give him some more brightness just to that one side of him would kind of give him an extra bit of three-dimensionality. Ah, good, good call. Yeah. All right. And the Kong scene. The Kong scene. This is a very busy scene. Um, let me take a quick second here. Um, the colors are interesting. Um, they're... Uh, the purples are an interesting choice, although I think it work, It kind of it works together as a scene. Um, clearly, when you're doing toy photography, absolute realism is not the name of the game, but storytelling is. Um, the I do like the light rays coming through. Um, I wonder if they used a little bit of a, a smoke effect or something to kind of let those lights through. Um, the thing I see that is kind of the biggest problem when it's a bit noisy, I would maybe clean up the bottom a bit. I mean, I think clearly they're going for the uh, you know, damage, King Kong's gone oh, nuts yeah, and right. caused a bunch of damage thing, but it's a little bit to that. Um, so being a little bit more thoughtful on how the, the debris is placed, uh, so it's, so it reads a bit clearer, would be great. There's two line, uh, uh, lights right at the bottom. It looks like some scaffolding, like where the line of uh, light posts are and the right below that, there's two bright lights. Mm -hmm. um, those are a little bit distracting as well. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It almost looks like car lights. It but, looks like uh, car lights, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, they're a little bit distracting, but maybe not be the worst thing. The biggest um, crime that I am seeing here is actually near the top. Oh, it's a tank. Yeah, it's a tank with lights. It's a tank with lights in the front. But Excellent. what's weird is the tank is facing that way, but the lights are facing forward. Yeah, because the lights would actually be shooting. Yeah, they'd be a little. They would yeah. be shooting off to the right. Or yeah, the tanks side. don't normally have lights. They normally try to hide yeah. them. Um, but the thing I see most is in the top right-hand corner where the spotlight is, um, it clearly looks like a light. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like, come off as like a, a helicopter spotlight. Oh, I think um, it is a, I think it is a helicopter. But it looks it a little bit too, yeah, you can't tell. like an actual light. The, the, the light source itself, I think is too big. Um, a light, helicopter light um, at this scale would probably be about half that size. Um, uh -huh. And then it'd be nice if that is supposed to be a helicopter like to actually see a little bit of the definition at the bottom of the helicopter. Right. Just to sell that it's a helicopter. Because uh, at first I thought it was just like a loom cube or something in the shot, um, which sometimes works. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice image. I, I think this is the weakest of the three, if I was going to rate them. Um, I think I like the link shot the most, just from an action perspective. And the rain is kind of nice, um, especially if you could get some more light in there. Um, it, but sh straight shot... Uh, without any edits, the first one I think is the strongest one of these. Oh yeah, well, like great. she just looks sassy. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, definitely uh, the scene meets the character, right? Yeah, actually, now that I mention it, uh, one thing I might do to this image here um, is at the top left hand left hand corner, um, there's a little light that's kind of just in the corner there. Over I'm here. not sure if that's doing any favors. I might just chop that one out. I think the one below, the ones below it, like that are at eye level on the left, are fine. But the top one, I think, kind of draws the eye a little bit too much. I would have a tendency to to uh, take that out. That better, that's, but that yeah, that's nit, that, but that's nitpicking. I yeah. think that that's definitely not like. But Dave, that's, the what shot, right? that's what we do. We're photographers. That's what we do. I realize that, but I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> discourage the uh, the photographer because whoever this is is clearly doing a bang up job. Wow. Well, Dave, I, I really appreciate you taking the time, and thank you for your insights on this stuff. That is that is. Uh, that you're looking at all kinds of stuff that I would have missed, so it was it was great to have you have those insights. I I appreciate yep. it. Uh, so two things, uh, yep. you know, you guys saw a, a preview of Dave's course, and people absolutely loved his course. It great. makes if you don't do toy photography, it makes you want, you want to, do to do it. it. You like yeah. you watch it, and you're like, I've got to find a way to do this, and and he's a master of it. That's number one. But also, he has a book on toy photography coming out right February twelfth. Uh, February 12th is the uh, paperback. The the um, ebook is out for pre-order, and it's a book um, that is all my 15 years of experience of trying to do this, uh, with a knowledge taken from everywhere, from Kelby One courses to, um, you know, Hollywood. I try to condense it all into the things you need to know to take really good toy photos. Um, so I hope nice. you, if you're interested in this, you'll uh, check it out. Um, yeah. Wow, great. Well, congratulations on that. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And it's a great looking cover. I love the, the, love the look of it. Yeah, yeah I, I want to shout, shout out uh, Rick Salmon um, actually hooked me up with his, uh, his publisher guy. Uh, uh, Writing Night is the organization. Chad is the guy who does it, and he does a bang up job. Wow. Um, so shout out to him. Um, I couldn't have done it without him. I can, I can write a book, but there's no way I'm going to produce it. So um, oh, he did all the heavy lifting for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again, Dave. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much for your insights and take care. Most welcome. Take care. All right. That was great. Yeah, all right. Yeah. He's great. so good. He's such a nice guy too. All right. Let's take a look at some more images and let's see what we got. Cause we're, we're, uh, we've already seen those. Is. Let's, oh, I just did something bad. Uh, let's uh, hit the right button this time. And let's take a look at these. Here we go. Looks like we got street photography here. <sighs> I, now, I feel like he's picking his nose. I know. I the first thing you he, think is he's picking his nose. He's you look closely. His nose. He, yeah. He's not. <laughs> but it's not a well, good. It's, it's not a like good look. Like, leaning back. like my first thought was, why are you <laughs> submitting a photo? I thought it was a prank. You're submitting a photo with a guy picking Especially his that, nose. That first one, yeah, it's kind of out of the place. <sighs> yep, that's a woman on an escalator, and that's a kid in the park. I do like the kid, though. I mean, it's the best of the three. Yeah, that is. But these two are but these these are these are nothing. This one, yeah, the I first see where one's you're going too with, busy. I see where you go with going with in the middle one trying to isolate one subject, but it's just, it's person riding an elevator. What, what are you showing me that I can't see by going I to know. any place that has an escalator? Yeah. So at the mall, I'll see a woman on the escalator. I know. This all is the day long. One here. But again, it's, like, it's like just kind of like. A, a, one person on an escalator looking forward doesn't make a, does not make a photograph. Th this is cute because it's a kid. At, yeah. It's also the pose of the kid, maybe a little but, bit. But, you know, I, I mean, if you wanted to make it, yeah, so, I don't, know, up at the I don't know. But he's, he's in the corner, though, so that part, I wish there was a little, yeah, see, that's better. Much better. You see okay. him more. All right, but if, if you see him at all, it's still not a good photo. It's still just a snapshot that you take walking through your neighborhood and there's a kid. I mean, it's not like, ooh, wow, the kid's doing something really interesting or something unique or... You know, it, it's just a, it's a snapshot. It's a kid making these black and white does not turn them into good photos. They're bad photos converted to black and white. <sighs> yeah. If you want to learn street photography, good street photography isn't just snapping random photos of people. Right. And, and these, that's what these all feel like. They're and just random Scott photos. I would love to see about the, the boy's and face. Yeah. I would like to see his face more. It seems like if you saw his face more, if he was looking yeah. straight at the camera, 
usually when people park in the neighborhood when people take and they convert it to black and white that think that that i think that's what scott's saying you convert to black and white it becomes art and it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't right the photo has to be so strong in color that it needs black and white yeah you 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 need to go look at the work of great street photographers because they are not taking random photos these are literally random photos okay so Jay Maisel has a wonderful book. It's a seminal work. It's called uh, Light, Gesture, and Color. Mm-hmm. And what, what, what he supposes is this. For an image to work, it either has to have one of two things. Let's take a look on screen. It has to have amazing light, really interesting light, something really interesting. Nope. Uh, or it can have really great color, which obviously it doesn't. Or it can have an interesting gesture. The person's doing Mm -hmm. something that is unusual or something Mm -hmm. that is like, this has none of the basic elements of what makes a good street photo. And and when he says color too, it could be that in the black and white, that contrast. Oh yeah, it could be an interesting black and white color. Black and and both of those are still colors. None of these have that. If you get a box of crayons, black's in there, white's in there. They're still colors. He's at the rule of thirds though. Yeah. Five points she for the rule of thirds. She stands out. There's some good things yes. where she pops. Man, you're yeah. being nice. Background. You're really being sweet, Lisa. But it's your first time. I know. I'm a, I'm, I'm a softie. You are. <laughs> but when I saw this out of the three, I thought this had the strongest composition. It does. It does. Because, but, but like you said, if she had a better pose... She or would need a, a lot better pose. Yeah, but this out of the three, I think, is the strongest. Take her and have her pretend like she's uh, singing into a microphone and holding her hand up and her mouth's open. And then right. you go, oh, right. that's kind of cool. Where'd so, you get that? <laughs> we're beating this one up. Uh, at the end of the day, there are three snapshots. Yeah, um, there are three snapshots. It's, it's not really photography. It's just you took some photos. Oh, a flam- oh, I like one of these. I like that. Did you know I love flamingos? I did not know that. Oh, I love them. Yeah, I have a whole series. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I love the way that the the, the, uh, the beaks, you know, the reflection yeah, of the, the beaks, meat. and I like the water thing. Yeah, yeah, the bird's a little washed out on the top, though. Yeah, the bird. We well, if you look lower on my the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the screen in our yeah, studio, studio is not really accurate. Right, I have to look, look at, at your my computer. screen. Oh, it's much yeah. better on the computer. Yeah. 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 This oh, wow. one we can fix. It, it's not bad. This looks like a zoo shot, but let's go. I got the Let me ask you a question. What color should the blue. white areas it's be? It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> Good. Here we go again. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Let's. The first thing I saw is blue. Let's get. Let's make the spots and white. It's blue and it's green. And it's green. There we go. Oh, much better. Well, let's just look at that. We just fixed the color. Look at the difference. Oh, it's much warmer. I feel alive. Yeah, and look, Ooh. look how blue the uh, eyes pop better on the right a little yeah. bit too. Well, yeah, that's what happens with white balance. I'm yeah, you know, but it's, so cool. it's like the it's like the basic thing. Like, come like on. People all talk about like they don't get enough and detail or contrast. Having a good white balance helps all that stuff. Yes. All yeah, right. All now. that. It adds to the emotion. Too. Okay. There's some wow, other things we got to fix. Feels. Number one, background's too bright. Let's go lower that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Lower the uh, highlights. Uh, then let's go select subject. And he's back. You know, he's in the shadows. Let's pull him out of the shadows a little bit. Maybe less of that. All right. And I would go and hit the texture. Bring out some, some really make him nice and crisp. But the dappled light, where there's just a little bit of light here, yeah. and some light there, and a little bit here, that's not helping your case. You might be able to fix some of that by going to create new mask, go to brush. Uh, let's go to the highlights and lower them. Let's go to, I don't need my headphones on anymore. I was going to say, can I take mine off? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Oh, good, then I could hear you better. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. That was just so we could hear Dave. Okay, All right, let's bye go. Dave. <laughs> let's go and, uh... oh, I have the brush. So watch, just pull these back a little bit because the, that dapple light is not helping anybody. And, and then this over here. And this over here. So you want your eye to go 
to his face and yes. his eye more than the yes. edge of the photo. What about the background? Is there any more parts you would darken back there? So Yeah, I would pops? probably do this. I would probably go put a vignette on it. I'd go in vignette. here to uh, effects, go to uh, vignette. Yeah. And this just is the kind of thing I love it. to do when I edit. I still want to bring really out that. Take it uh, up another level. I want to bring that the animal out a bit more. Maybe if I raise it and then add contrast, that's too much. Something yeah. like that. It's just there, there's a better shot in here. I mean, the photo's not bad. This the post-processing is not good. If you yeah. go in with a brush and you selectively darken and lighten areas a little yes, bit Yes, dodge and burn and it. You do a lot of different layers. This is, this is what I do a lot in my images. I have a whole flamingo collection that I have done this. And I have been able to make some animal images look like it was mm -hmm. taken in a studio light with lighting because you can really i mean you could bring this up so much to a stronger level oh you could so, yeah oh, dodging yeah. and burning is a oh, huge yeah. huge thing and, and you're going to do the secret weapon right and there. this is this is the kind of thing that if you spend time doing you this there is you need a oh. mask on that because yep. it's, yeah it, that, topaz sharpen when you have a lot of bokeh is gonna start destroying yeah the I, I i believe that oh, okay. but it's pretty easy all you'd have to do is go into topaz sharpen open it up and then you just hit that um select subject and it will just pull the subject right but just there. fix that stuff and you and you're good just fix that yeah uh control room thank you <laughs> control room sometimes they have beer in there and it slows yeah, it things happens. slows things down uh-oh <laughs> another wedding photo Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's good. That's the that best one, so far. That's yeah, the that's strongest. That's by far. So far. That's Look how you she it. pops against the background. Yeah, with so the red nicely, hair. Like, this is a very nicely dodged and bird image. You know, yep. They took their time so with wait, this. Wait. Who took the first two? Was it you the know, same photographer? The level... Like, this is so good. Yeah. What happened here and here? I'm not sure. Is that one sharp? You know, yeah, the, it, the grapes are not sharp, right? So yeah, it kind of grapes yeah, aren't. Exactly. I know. A lot of bokeh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here, here's what's really bad here. Take a look at her expression. It looks like he's trying to kiss yeah, her, and she's, she's like, like, "Nope, eh. I don't think so." I saw. Yeah. Like, nope. Eh. Nope. Now. It just doesn't work. Let me ask you a question. Is she is it cropped in too tight at the top? Yes. She, but I have other cut questions. Part of her head off. Let me ask you a question, Liesel. Yeah. If you you were not at this wedding, so you don't know. Right. But I'm going to ask you: Do you think he wore a lightly blue tinted shirt? Oh. Or, or with his black tux, do you think he wore a white shirt? Let's hope it's white. Let's hope. <laughs> It's not in the picture. I've seen some pretty interesting wedding photos in my day, but I can tell it's day, a little overcast. It should be white. It was probably shot in, in a mode that. And look, her dress. Oh look, oh, look, now it's white, and look, their skin tone gets better at the same time. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, much better. Look at that! Like how much the whole thing looks better just with one little oh, yeah. adjustment. Their skin looks better. They look warmer. Everything looks good. And his his. We're gonna have to. So we're gonna oh, have wow. to have a white balance day. Come on. And then I, I would probably... It even makes the grapes pop a little bit. Yes, it does. Then <laughs> even though I don't even get focused. the whole grape thing. I'm sure there's there's some reason. Uh, I'm sure they were, their wedding Maybe was they're in a vineyard. vineyard, and that's the story there. Uh, the story is she doesn't like loose. him very much. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> well, first off, she's got a nice, slightly tinted blue oh. dress. Oh, here we go. I mean, is it me, or are they just sliding off like the background? It yeah, it's crooked. crooked. It's you way know, look, like look, crooked? look at look at look, Eric, look back here. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, saying. It's like it's like sliding off the earth. I could see why they're trying to frame the couple with the branch, but I think the branch has become too distracting. Like I would darken that top area. Like if you you could frame yeah, them, yeah, but yeah, keep on going, you want please. your eye to go to the bride okay, and groom first. Darken those branches on the right and on the top and the in the bottom. You know. Oh, that crop doesn't I feel like we're not defying gravity anymore. 
I got that crop isn't exactly working. And yeah. and also, it's just not. Well, the whole crop isn't working. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the, there were too many branches and it just got too busy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, oops. Let's go to color. Let's the posing. The guy looks very uncomfortable. Oh, look, now the dress just well, turned white. I mean, white. look what he's sitting on. It's yeah, not a he really. Yeah, looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, this is just an awkward pose in an it's awkward scene. like, I don't scene. even want to be here. Yeah, I don't even want to be here. Yeah, he probably couldn't wait to get up. Yeah, he's like, seriously, they're now, making me take this shot? when you zoom in like that, you see how there's less background. It's less awkward. Yeah, it's it's better just this crop, way. Just crop in. It's right? better. Yeah, and, and look, the, her the dress isn't is blue. Yeah. yeah. And, and green. And look, his, his, his suit was light blue as well, and now it's gray. Oh, look at that. You know what? I think you're right about the the crop there. Yeah. yeah Do a little vertical better. crop. That would look. Yeah, look that better. would be nice. And then you could see their faces a little better. I mean, I get the idea of framing with the branches. It is kind of a neat artistic thinking, thing. I'm almost thinking oh. something more yeah, like. Yeah, we're gonna go really in. Yeah. So we're getting real a lot of, of awkward, like his legs now, and all be a nice. little awkward. Actually, that's, yeah, at least that way he doesn't. That's look That's really awkward. nice because how her dress is sitting on the the branch kind of brings your eye to the right a little bit, and then it's like a big circle. Your eye goes all the way around. That's actually that's much better. But I would still darken. You know, I'd do a vignette or oh, yeah, let's go darken do that. around mm -hmm. the edges there. Yeah, let's drop that. Uh, drop a little vignette around those edges. That's, That's getting helping. there. It's, it's a lot better. I think it needs a little more yellow. I just just a tad more. Like their skin tone is not happening. That's better. But I don't, I don't want yeah. her dress to turn yellow. All right, yeah. that's right. That's not bad compared to where we were. Man, yeah, that was really blue. Water. Look look at his look how blue. We well, can definitely tell in the suit. Look at the gray in the suit. Like it it wow. looks like a blue blue suit on the left. And, and this is something suit. you want to be really careful with. If you're photographing a wedding, you want it to be accurate. You know, <laughs> yeah. they spend all this time deciding colors. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. You know, white balance is such a hard thing because human eyes are really good about adjusting white balance. We are like very good at it. Yeah. Cameras are dumb. They're just going <laughs> to give you one. Like that's, I choose, I chose this white balance and it has no interpretation where our brain interprets different shades and different colors it just does it on the fly so like you have to you have to take the time in post to get the white balance back to normal whatever we saw as human beings right yeah sometimes you have to walk away from the computer that's and then true look at it with fresh eyes or look at something black and white and then come back you know what and, else you can do? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. No, I'm sorry. Go well, ahead. it's just, it's funny because sometimes I'll look at an image. I'm like, oh, this is great. Ah, well, let me just take a break. I come back and I'm like, oh my goodness. What was I thinking? I'm, you just don't, yeah. your eyes get so used to it. Absolutely. Yes, Always yes, come yes. back. And this is why I sometimes wait to post an image on my website. I let it sit overnight sometimes just to have that second look. Oh, and yeah. fresh eyes. Yep. Here's another thing. If you are out there shooting, you've got the bride and groom, should you leave your auto white balance on, or your white balance on auto? No, here, do this instead, ready? Look up, look flipping up. Are they in the shade? Switch your white balance to shade and all of a sudden, everything looks right. Mm. If you look up and you see the sun, switch it to daylight. If you look up and you see clouds, switch it to flipping clouds. It's so easy to get your white balance right. You don't need a gray card outside. You don't need all this crap. Just look freaking up. I'm just. But then if you don't look up, fix it in post. Just look up. Yeah. Look up. But you can do either. And if you're, you put them in the, you put them in the shade. You know they're in the shade. You know they're going to be blue. All right, all right, but let's get to the final image because the final image was the, the best one. <laughs> I was, a, I think that Where'd was the final image. No, oh, that, that yeah. oh, this one, this that one's was, great. That was good. This one looks like a completely it. different photographer took it. And look I how agree. the greens in her clothes and the greens in the background all make her red hair pop. I mean, yeah, it's stunning. It's great. I love it. It's I great. It. Her pose is great. Everything's. It's like a different it's photographer took just it. Just stunning. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to think weddings may not be your thing. All right. Uh-oh. 
No, these are, cool. these are cool. Now. No, I was saying weddings are not your thing. Oh. Uh oh. Then they're going to write us in and say, yeah, I did yeah. 52 yeah. weddings last yeah. year and I made $100,000 and you don't know what already. the hell you're talking about. Okay, whatever. I see, I see letters first. You know what, though? I like their style. Yeah, I like them. They're, they are yeah. actually doing a very cool uh, kind of a wide angle up, where, up where tight. Where is that? I, I thought originally that it was either Miami or it's either Miami or Vegas, if I had to guess. Oh, like, yeah. I thought this was like right here was uh, like uh, around cool. the Aria's, but I don't think it is. It's cool. Could I like be that. down. I don't know. I th I'm going to think it's Vegas There's somewhere. There's a nice energy about it. There's a lot of lights. Yeah, There's, an There's an Apple store. store. Yeah. <laughs> There's an Apple you store. Saw that. Yeah. There's an Apple oh, store. Oh, there you go. I like them, though. I think these are really cool. Yeah. These are neat color, neat composition, and, and a consistent look. Is there a little bit of glow around the buildings on that first one? On the middle right oh. here, like right yeah. there, yeah. there's some glow. Yeah, there's a Maybe little bit. Maybe the sky was darkened a little too. Yeah, much. there's a little glow. glow. You can fix that easy yeah. enough. Lower the contrast or clarity. Or just do, do the do the rubber stamp trick that gets rid of it. Yep. But those are uh, those are good. I like I, yeah. I like them, and yeah. I like that it looks like the same photographer took all three. Yeah, all they right. they would look good together on a website. Uh oh. That's oh, wow. nice. I like Ooh, that. I love that. That's like a crowd pleaser type of shot. Mm -hmm. It's that's, not as strong as the other one, but it's nice. Yeah, that's that's the this? that's the weakest of the three, I would say. Yeah, this one this one's good. I yeah. love that. I think the only thing, and I'm only being super picky, but I, the the building is a little close to the edge. You think of prints and stuff. Um, well, they've give got a little more breathing room, but it's absolutely stunning. The lighting is just well. Nice they've already and got soft. their mat in the photo. Oh, okay, so. got it. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it could use some con a contrast. Just that, a little more punch. Yeah, let's just go here. Yeah, because like make the colors pop a little more. So mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the before and after from adding contrast. Yeah, I like that. Better. Yeah, it does add. Yeah. And it makes the colors more vivid. So what contrast does? It makes the brightest part of your photos brighter. And the darkest darker, and I, that I makes would, your colors it, more vivid. I would want to take out some of the saturation goes up a little bit too when you do that. The branches, there's those light branches in the tree that are just These? drawing the eye. Yeah, I, I they're kinda, bright. I, I kind of found those interesting. You know what uh, though? The I angle of them brings your eye back into the photo because they're bring it's bringing your eye your eye back. Yeah, in. it does kind of lead you back. I don't know. I kind I kind of like this. I, I I think that's that's the strongest one. This, this one, it looks crooked for it's one. It's definitely crooked. Well, yeah, it's, I think there's a lot, just too much contrast in this and too much clarity. Like, it looks over-processed to me. Yeah. And yeah. and the, the birds are so dark, you, you really can't see anything about I mean, them. sometimes you can go for that effect, but I just, there's just not I enough. I mean, there's a way to do it, but. Yeah, there's not enough. <laughs> but, 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 there's would, a way to do it, but that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Just that say it, Liesl. Just, too, just say it. Take off your hat, your niceness. <laughs> Take off That's your... what happens. It's like people want to, they see it and they're like, okay. oh, I'm trying to do it. But then you're just not like, it's not the right time. With the bird one, what do you see first? For me, I see at the center of the photo, that big bright area of the water. Right, well, the water. if the message is the birds, yep. then darken that part of the water, yeah. brighten, brighten something behind the birds, yeah. make them pop. There you but go. You can Just hardly things. see them. And that top section, yeah. you can crop that, like make it a really thin pano it might look kind of cool but for me if i had been there i would have taken i usually take a lot of photos when i'm at a place like that yep. and pick the very best image where as many birds as possible have a good pose yeah so that one to me looks just like a snapshot that was overcooked yeah it's okay. So I'm sorry. All right. No, now you're getting there. Just you got to tell the truth. So, That's what this whole thing's about. Yeah. It's overcooked. Yeah. But it's there is, overcooked. I could see what they were trying to go for. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, All right. Here's another one. I see what, yeah, I see what they're trying to go for. All right. um, oh, it's an Eric shot. Yeah. Eric shot. <laughs> yeah, but. All right. Well, oh, let's start okay. down here. I know. It's 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 so busy. I, right. I like that it's in it's an unusual shot. You, it's it's probably shot like San Diego or something I, where I feel like too. It's 
I don't know the black and white. I don't understand the black yeah, and white. Yeah, because it's the blue angels. They should be blue. I want to see the blue. All right. Yeah. This is my issue. Is and then the the, then the, the plane like the, runs into the um, the way the plane is positioned. It, it looks runs like the plane the, is sitting on top yeah. of the uh, yes. boat. Yeah, like it's resting on the boat. Like it's yeah. resting. Yeah. So it's, it's just, just a very awkward that's the composition. Problem. It, this is the problem with aviation photography. <laughs> if you don't have the right, because you go say, well, that's oh. where the pilot flew. And then like, I can't like have him, but then that's it's the not problem. a good shot. But then it's, it's, just, not a it's good just shot. like wildlife photography, what we were talking about before. You yeah. have to pick the right frame. And I think that's the only thing that's wrong with, well, th there's that. And then there's too many boats. It's like a too busy part of the ocean. Yeah. Um, and that's, I would have. I don't. I just do think this and would the be boats stronger are in color. so white. They your eye goes to the boats yes. more than the plane itself, and um, yeah, I would. It's just too busy. All right, we're loosening these up. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's got. <laughs> I will tell you this. Yeah, we are. Wherever right. you're taking this picture Saint from, like and wherever you're doing it, like you're in the, the right. Raw. But you're in the right kind of area. You're thinking the right kind of things. It's just the wrong frame. And that what you're saying yeah. is, well, that's when I got the plane sharp, and that's when I got the vapes, and that's. But sometimes but I'll get that, and it's just a, is it, it's a crap shot. Is it possible? And just this, just throwing this out there, is it possible that the plane is actually taking off from on top of those sailboats? <laughs> that it's resting there. And you're it seeing could. the ignition of the plane, the that's initial maybe, burst. Maybe well, then it's an American. It's a capturing the special moment of time. All right, Mr. Kuna. <laughs> Well, this one feels like it's leaning. It's leaning. Of course oh, it's leaning. Oh, yeah. Leaning. Okay. The other thing is, um, on the, you've, you've obviously l using light painting, which I love. I love using light he painting. He does love a I light love paint. It. But your light painting is blue and green. It's not matching the white balance of the sky. So it has a mm. bluish green tint to it. So we have to take that out and warm up that building because that building looks like it's being Is it lit. just the building or am I doing any, what am I doing here? No, because if you look at the sky and you look at that, I mean, the sky does have a little bit of green in it for So me. we're going to warm it up? Uh, no, I'd actually, no, I want to warm up just the building. See, if you look at the sky. That's what I was asking. That's what yeah. I was, oh, Subject. Well, subject, yeah. <laughs> That's way too um, blue. Yes. It, uh, not that much, but that's a little, that's a little harsh. But, hey, hey. Yeah, like somewhere in there. But you can see the big, if you sit those side by side, you'll see the big difference of like, it was lit with a white balance that's a little too cool. You see how like, oh, even like yeah. the, the wood, and even actually where you see it the most is you can see there's a little reflective, um, looks like, um, like a power box there yep. on the wall. You see the power box? That's a dead giveaway where I went, oh. you lit that with a white source of, the, a more bluish, cool source of light. That's why it's so important when you light paint you want to keep your white balance like at like 3200 to 3800 Kelvin because that matches well with the sky. Like, yeah. so, but if you don't, then you have to do the trick what Scott just did. You have to select the foreground, change the white balance slightly to match the sky. Yeah. If not, you'll immediately see, oh, that's light painting. And what you don't want to see is, oh, that's light painting. You want it to be kind of mellow and kind of do that. Susan's got a good uh, question. She says, at what point do you stop processing? How do you know when it's the best? Try not to overcomplicate the process. Susan, most people's problem is not that they didn't do the post-processing. It's not that they did too little. It's almost always that they did too much. Yep. If you're going mm -hmm. to make a mistake with your post-processing, let it be I didn't quite post-process it enough because going too far always kind of trashes it. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, I think overall, I mean, I would actually try to increase the exposure on the foreground too, because it's a little too dark on that last one. All right. First off, what kind of animal is this? That was my question. <laughs> I don't know, but we're looking at the butt. But it looks cute. It's a, it's a butt picture. Oh yeah, but I'll tell you the one good thing. Mm, but. Is the head. <laughs> the head? <laughs> the head is ice, the it background is. behind it the is. head is simple, so his head stands out. Yep. It's okay. But I would, I would, I always say this, I would darken the background more, at least do some more dodging and burning so your eye goes right to the animal. Yeah. Because my Agreed. eye goes to that rock on the right in the back. So I would darken at least the right side of, I agree. of that. So bring Boy, your eye to the center. this getting in interesting places, though. They are? Look at yeah. that. I mean, that's a cool angle. 
Uh, not the right pose, but it's a cool angle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the thing with the I don't have well, any control over that. You're probably that. not in a but, position okay, to uh, so I get it. Get like, they're spot. shooting everything that's kind of, it's kind of hard. Like, planes, you can't control where they are. It, that's why shooting so much is important and picking the right image. All right, time yeah. for some uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nostril shot, uh-oh. I'll tell you what, I like the lighting. I love the lighting. I like uh, the lighting. I like yeah. the fact that there is not the lighting on them, the lighting on them is not good. The lighting yeah, on like them the, is the bad. Background the background is interesting. The atmosphere is great, but all of the lighting on them except for her is bad. This is terrible yeah. lighting. And Eric, if you, you could, could pick, fix it. you could pick what the most unflattering position would be to photograph oh, a person yeah. where would it be shooting. down low shooting yeah. up is it's, the most unflattering it's a horrifying position it's horrifying it's actually what they use in horror movies to go to convey kind of a menacing look they yes always shoot up. yes yeah if you All right. watch a horror movie it's yep. always going to be like that first off you could help this a lot by just selecting subject now you could be going for that. Maybe she wants to look like she's a menacing person. That's at and at least kind of match the overall lighting. Like yeah. something there. Let's put them side by side. I'll just hit one click. Look how, look how that, yeah. big right? Difference. Just that makes quite a big difference. Um, but it there's is a, a uh, I just saw a comment right. here. Can you scroll up a little bit? It was uh, Jim Cook's comment. Can you? Can you scroll up just a hair? Maybe. There we go. Jim Cook says, these critiques have really opened my eyes to how important white balance is. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you, yeah. Jim. Thank you. All right. So, so It's the theme of the day. <laughs> now, she's got some pink light on her and stuff. And you can actually, if you wanted to. Now, I think, I think lighting-wise, this actually looks okay right now. now. You know, but, we're running over. I know, we're, we are over. Time. I know. I'm just going to do one thing here real quick. Watch. What if you did this? Oh. I, I don't know if it's, this could be trash, what I'm about to do. Masking. Oh, I already in the mask. Create a new mask. Get a brush. Go down here to the... Uh, to color. And pick a pinkish color. I want to see if... Uh, I was going to try to add some, like a, a, like a little spank of color from, so there was already some pink in there. Her hair like looks green. A little spank oh. of color. No, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's too much. That's, that's a, well, hang you on. You just smacked the color. Guys, <laughs> spanking. give me a second. It. Let me adjust it. There. That's what I was looking for. Just a little more like she's being lit by the lights. Yeah, you were like Mike Tyson punch okay, out. Okay, give me a <laughs> sec. A I was looking for color. the saturation amount. God. <laughs> You guys are brutal I've today. Ladies, I've seen ladies oh, with really know. weird hair color. They actually do it on purpose. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I got an 18-year-old daughter. You know how many hair colors I've seen? Oh. I've seen them all. <laughs> I've seen every hair color. And, and you know what? She, she does her own hair color. She got so good at it. She colorizes her own hair. I see her walk out of her room. And I'm like, blue. <laughs> hey, blue. I've seen ladies with green. I don't know no, why no, they right. choose green. All right, but so right. that, that I mean, that's a mess. Uh, same thing here. Her feet are cut off, which is, you know, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've cut off the feet, but let's go at least select subject. Uh, the, the thing, this is hard because you're... She you, looks you've crooked. Got, you, I feel like this person's got like an eye for the colors and 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 all that well they, they, they didn't have anything to do with the colors those are the colors that were there i know they i like that they're putting it i like, like yeah. the backgrounds backgrounds yeah. good yeah not this a good idea. pose not i mean this pose. is like a bad instagram pose yeah that's uh, you're not getting anything here this is far and away the best one yeah it's it interesting you're still shooting at a low angle which is not awesome um her look at her eye sockets Come on, sheeple. All right. Well, we got to give away some prizes here. Give away prizes Ooh, while prizes. I'm fixing her eyes. So, uh, Lisa, Sue. <laughs> Lisa uh, just, doesn't, just doesn't want to look at any more pictures. Stop yeah. this madness. So, Sue uh, Kleinsmith is winning your Photoshop for Digital Photographer's book. Then we have uh, Kirsten Berry is winning your How Do I Do That in Photoshop book. Dale, Dale Bale is winning the On One No Noise. Uh, Hawkeye Dave is winning the V-flat. 
Dale uh, Schusterman is winning the retouch for me. And then Paul Bradley is what winning the, the Planet Pod that? handle. So if you won, just email us over at gridprize at kelby1.com and claim your prize by this Friday, please. And it does say please up there because they have to remind me. I was, me trying, to fix, I was trying to fix her eyes and, and uh, it was uh, not working for me. Let me try it again here. I just want to go brush. I want to paint over this socket and this socket and then just open the exposure. But it's just, it's not looking good. It's, and for all those photographers that were offended, you can email Scott Kelby over at <laughs> skelby at kelby1.com. All right. <laughs> Let's look at another one. We, let's, we're just going to do just a couple more. All right. Oh. Okay, first, be, beware <laughs> of ugly flowers. So you, you got the, the bee landing on. Now, you, you, you did technical stuff right. The background's out of focus. You got one solitary flower and all. Yeah. It's just an ugly flower in ugly light. Now, if you had used good light and a nice time of day, you were in really tight. And it was a, it's just the flower's not, it's bad light on a bad flower. But you gotta be there. That's kinda nice, gotta be in flight. But it's just, not, it's not, the whole shot is not working because it starts yeah. with your subject and you got an ugly subject. This is out of focus. Out of it's focus. just straight, yeah. very cool. I don't know anything that's in, is it the front of the pedal maybe there? Maybe. Maybe right maybe. there is in focus. Yeah, but if the that was in left, focus. Bottom left. Bottom left there. Focus. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But Leia, look at the, look at the top of the uh, butterfly's head. Is that it's, butterfly real? It's not even like in, I've like seen it's blue so broken out. That's a pretty butter. I mean, it, yeah. it's, no, it's but nice. the whole photos. The yellow dry. of the flower makes the blue pop. So that part is nice, but if it's a blurry photo, it, there's not much you can do with it. It goes in the it. trash. And All I don't, right, so what about this one? I don't even know what, what this is. What do you is. say about this one? Don't show anyone this photo. I just don't know what, yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's You're just. You're looking up into. Like, what's the, what's the subject? Sure. What is the subject? I don't know what to say about this one. Yeah. You know, it would be better if they had like more of the stairs to actually have more of a story, but everything was just too, too cut off. It'd be better if they were someplace oh, else. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's a good one. Oh, no, that's I, cool. I, I'm not feel bad for that ball. On that. That, uh, that's a dog. All right, next one. Oh, oh look at that dog. Look at the dog. That's cute. Oh, oh, look at that cute. dog. Now, oh except gosh, for the, so it, this cute. branch right here has got to go. Oh, But outside yeah. of that, these are all very cute. Great yeah. expressions. Yeah, these are good. It's a, the great expressions, all yeah. three of them. You know, this is a good example of capturing the exact moment yeah. of a great emotion and a great pose. Peak moment of action right there. How it's about, eaten by a dog. how do you feel about white balance? Well, that's always going to be blue. The only thing is on the, his right side of his face is a little dark. Right? Look how off the white balance was. Oh, Come look on. At that. Am I the only one that cares about white balance? And you notice you're always going the same direction. Warmer. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> well, this is because you're using auto white balance and you're shooting either partially shade or mostly shade, and it makes everything blue. It's you're, just a yeah. very simple photography. Yeah. <laughs> Technique. We also get fooled by our backlit monitors as well as human beings. Yeah. So that's well, we're looking yeah. at. Consider. Hey, we're looking at a backlit. Down. We're looking at a backlit no, no, monitor. No, no, but we've trained ourselves to not be fooled. You can be fooled if you don't let your eyes adjust. All right, I lowered the uh, highlights there, and, and then we could maybe open up the shadows fooled. a little. There we go. These are good though. These are really oh, they're good. They're all good. You're doing it. You saved the day here. Thank you for submitting <laughs> look, these look, photos. Yeah. That was so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Then we could face. be a little bit flashy. You might. It's it's on the edge of flashy. I would get rid of this. This looks like it's attached yeah. to the dog. So get rid of yeah. that. And then let's just open that in. Though. And then go go to the masking tool. Go to select subject. And either maybe just pull the highlights might be enough. Yeah. There you go. Not that much. Somewhere in there, it just looks a little flashy, but it's 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 minor. And uh, how's your white balance? It's got a little green in it. It's, it's got a little, a little little green. Yeah. Yeah, let's, oh, 
was their their color wasn't so bad. This wasn't so bad. Yeah, it wasn't and bad. I got the light in the eye. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you for saving the day. All right, we're gonna look at one. Oh boy. One more. One more. Oh boy. Ooh. No, these are good. All right. Someone's been to Namibia. <laughs> Namibia. That's the only place you see that. Yep. That's right. Or at Eric's backyard, he's got these <laughs> yeah. trees. And that's, yeah. Can I say that's something? That's a little harsh lighting, I think. Well, look at my screen. Yeah. Oh, All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at your screen. All right, look. How about this, though? Come on. Here, work with me, uh, people. I think you're going to crop off the ground, aren't you? No, I'm not going to crop off okay. the ground. <laughs> Oh, tall. now that's, yeah, that's there's nice. the there shot, and I'd get rid of that Ooh. tree and that tree, and I'll, I'd leave that one tree. Yeah, yeah. that's better. Huh? Get oh, rid of that that's stuff. More, much more artistic. Yes, there's your shot right there. Yeah, I like that. And more. let's get. Can we get rid of this other stuff? Here, let's just go. Bad tree. Friend of bad tree. <laughs> Ugly tree. Yeah. And just hit generative fill. Don't type anything in it. Remember, you want to remove something. Don't type right, anything in let's the box. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Seven seconds. Maybe twelve. It's usually twelve seconds. Yes. Look at that. Cleaned it oh, up. Look at that. That's much better. Come on, Ooh. sheeple. All right. Anyway. Those, those are the, the Namibia shots are good, but I think you've got a better one hiding in there, right? And then, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like, meh. It's about the shadows. It's like, you got yeah. these other really cool that, shots. That That's one's cool. Good. That one's good. It is good. That's really good. This one's, the next one's really good. Uh, what uh, happened here? That one, yeah. Yeah. This one's just very it's busy. Okay. It's, it's actually, it's, it's. Better than it's me. It's me. <laughs> All right. Are you, can you keep on going? No, Jason's going to kill us. Yeah, Jason's the. Oh, can we look at these? Ooh. There's 30 seconds. Oh, look at these. I love peers. Okay. Yay, a peer photo. That's my thing. You know what oh, I like? Interesting. Very. They have a, a very set style. It's a distinct it, look. Yeah. Very distinct look. It's very crisp. But. And they pulled that off. Yeah. And oh, and all three of them, I, I like them. I think I yeah. did, they got good posts. I, I like yeah. your post. I like and your style. And the water texture yeah. is nice. You can tell it they've is. got a consistent look. They had a nice I love a consistent speed. look. Be consistent. Be be consistent. All right, five seconds. Here we go. Uh, that's Norway. Norway. Very you know wide what? Angle. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's very uh, wide. It's yeah, I think it might be wide, too yeah. wide. That's yeah. nice. Uh, Prague. Yeah, I like I like that. That's nice. These are these, yeah. they've gone to nice some great time. locations. Uh, I think it, I hate right. to say it. I think you need a little more contrast in all of these photos. Yeah. Just well, they kind of have that the little bit little of that washed, washed out, out look. look. Yeah. yeah, and that yeah. usually means lack of contrast. Yeah, just pop that contrast a bit. I don't. I don't understand. That one's just a little too. I think it's too wide. wide. I think it's too wide. Yeah. But you know what's going to happen? If you get in there nice and tight, it's going to crop off a lot of that little town. What if you just crop off more of the bottom? Yeah. Well, that, yeah. You, that's what you, you know see what? everybody do. Maybe right? you could. Maybe you could do this. Might help it. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, that's yeah. better. And then pull Something the highlights like back. Open up the shadows. And if it were me, and it is, I would make it a little warmer. <laughs> Theme of the day. Yes, I would. <laughs> and a little magenta. Ah, and then select sky. Pull it down a little bit. There you go. Very nice. Yep. So I might have gone too far with my, with my magentas. In fact, I think I'm a little over magenta, if you'd ask me, in the sky. A little bit too much magenta. Okay. Guys, we've exhausted this to death. Liesl, I'm telling you what, another 30 minutes and you'd have been like, sew your gear, your crap. <laughs> Just seriously, another 30 minutes yeah, with her, we'd have had her. She'd Watch have been, out. <laughs> she'd have been using the F word in about 30 minutes. Oh, no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> oh, yeah, you would. Okay, it happens to everyone. Don't feel bad. All right. Just here. And the F word one. is fabulous. <laughs> That shot is, 
fabulous. <laughs> yeah, or full frame. Or full frame. Okay. All righty. Or fluff. Okay. Do we? Fudge. You did winners, all right? I did. Do we have anybody on the show next week? Uh, <laughs> nobody's showing up next week. None of us. Yeah, none Mystery of us. Guess? We're just going to show the set. It's just going to be empty. All right, Liesl, yep. where can people learn more about you? LieselWalshPhotos.com. It's L-I-E-S-L WalshPhotos.com. Oh, I had extra letters in your... I had extra. That's okay. Oh, look I'm at that. I'm used to it. Hey, yes. let's critique these. Winner. Yes. Winner. That's a pier. <laughs> Leading yes, line. I beautiful love pier. Yeah, yes, they're beautiful. This is my art. I live near the Venice Fishing Pier. This is my favorite place to go. Oh, these are beautiful. This is oh, look a very at these. popular restaurant right next to the pier. It's a beautiful place to watch the sunset. That oh, yeah. was on a billboard last year. I see why. That's I really nice. Very, America. very symmetrical. We Ooh, went to Rome. Rome last year. Oh, that was incredible. Oh, I shot right there. I took my, my students to that exact spot. Uh, yeah, Rome was okay. stunning. I could, not, I could not get that shot. Do you know why? Why? Because a, a, a Chinese bride and groom and, and about 10 photographers with them were, would not get off that bridge. Oh, well, guess what? I went, I was there at 5.30 in the morning. A movie crew was there at 5.30 in the morning. So I begged the camera guy. Please, can, I said, I'm going home tomorrow. Can I please get at least a few photos? And he said, sure. He had mercy on me. <laughs> so, oh, that's nice. That's that a beautiful nice. photo. Yeah, I just, yeah. I, I wanted, that was one of the shots I wanted to get, so. All right. Anyway. Well, thank you very much, Liesl. Thank You're you for welcome. being on the show. I'm telling you, 30 more minutes with her, Eric. Yeah, yeah, well, watch out. Down. She'd have been spitting fire, <laughs> I man. I start to get cranky. I know. I liked it. I liked it. The more you start seeing bad photos, <laughs> pretty much you're like, these these people suck. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sell your gear. Sell, Sell your gear. gear. <laughs> Sell it. Pull it. Go. That's why God made eBay. Go, go, go. Your stuff is trash. That's what I'm predicting you would have said in 30 okay. minutes. So. All right. Next we'll time. We'll just project that into the future. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and I uh, hope you take everything that we said today uh, in the manner that it was hopefully uh, pushing you in the right direction to fix things going forward <laughs> so your shots get better. That's right. Learning uh, opportunity, right? And we say that, but Grow we know. From it. They're already typing. I can hear their, I can hear, like. <laughs> That's email Scott. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to tell him how wrong he was and how great my photos were. And my local photo club chose the best photo of the year. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to Christina and crew. Jason in the studio. Eric in there. I don't know what he does in there. Something. Juan on the jib. Oh, we finally got Juan back. Thank. We had Dobson last week on the jib. Now, i got to give credit to Dobson. Last night, he got the last kill in, in our, our war zone. that We had playing trios on Warzone and uh, with me and Jeff Rev, and he got the last kill and we won last night. So I don't want to give Dobson too much heat because he's a good teammate when you're playing war, Call of Duty. But he's not yeah, good at the work, jib. Jib work is trash. He I needs to sell that. his jib. He needs, Dobson, <laughs> sell your jib. See you guys next week. Take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>
can easily take me up to two hours of work for each photo. So when I saw that there's a plugin for Photoshop that helps you retouch quicker, I was eager to get my hands on it. I had many feedbacks about it, and I found a lot of positive reviews, which made me to consider buying my first plugin. One of the challenges we have at the end of a session or wedding is to achieve an addition in our photograph that looked natural. This is where Retouch for me has become a game changer. I love the feature that you can pick how much effect it has on your photo and you can adjust it accordingly to your style. I saved a lot of time and always end up having an amazing result with my work. I am extremely happy with the quality. Now I am more efficient and have more time to spare with my family.